All right, welcome to the seventh lesson of our tutorial series on how to create 2048. For this lesson, we're going to be handling the other three directions of our action event. So let's jump right on in. All right, so to get started with handling the other three directions, let's open up our cell 2048 script. And the first thing that we're going to do inside the script is copy the code from our if statement in the onslide function. We'll then paste it into our other three if statements. And we then need to change the condition of our if statements. So rather than up, it's going to be right does not equal null, down does not equal null, and left does not equal null. We then need to change the recursive functions that we'll be calling inside these if statements. So rather than slide up, this will be slide right, slide down, and slide left. You'll notice that we're now receiving errors for these functions, and that's because we haven't created them yet. So let's start by creating the slide right function. To create this function, I'm just going to copy our slide up function and I'll paste it in below. We then want to rename this function to slide right, and that'll get rid of the error for this function. But then we need to change the body of this function so that it works with shifting all of the fill objects to the right. And like I said in the last video, we're going to be doing everything backwards. And so everywhere that we're calling current cell dot down, we want to change it to current cell dot left. And to make it a little easier, you can do a control find on down for this function and then replace all the downs with left. The other thing that we need to change inside this function is everywhere that we're calling slide up, we need to change to slide right. Then we can do the same thing for the slide down function. So I'm going to copy our function and then going to rename it to slide down, and then we can replace all the current cell dot left with current cell dot up. And we need to change where we're calling the slide right function to slide down. We'll then do this one more time for the slide left function. going to rename it and for this one we're going to change current cell dot up to current cell dot right and finally make sure that you change where we're calling slide down in this function to slide left All right, so that should be everything that we need in order to handle the other three directions. So let's go ahead and save the script and we'll go back to Unity. Now before we test it out, let's fix the layering issue that we were having in the previous lesson. To fix this, all you have to do is duplicate your 2048 grid. We then want to take the duplicated 2048 grid and move it up in the hierarchy so it comes before our old 2048 grid. And then all we have to do is hide all the visual components from our old 2048 grid. So I'm going to hide the light gray background image. I'll then select all of the cells inside this 2048 grid and we'll hide the dark gray cell image. Now let's also expand our new background 2048 grid and we'll select all of these cells. We'll then remove the cell 2048 script from these objects so that it doesn't interfere with our game. Doing this makes it so that we have one grid which is all the visual components but none of the transforms and another grid that's no visual components but all the transforms. And we want to have the transforms be in front of the visual components. So now let's click play and we'll test out our project. So I'll press the spacebar to add in some fill objects. I'll then press W to test that out. So it looks like our cell 1 has both of these two values as child. Our cell 2 has this 4 value as child. Cell 3 has the 2. Cell 4 has the two twos, And cell 8 has the third 2. 
Let's then restart the project and we'll test out another direction. So I'll press D and it looks like cell 3 has the 2, cell 4 has the two fours, cell 8 has this one two, cell 12 has this one four, cell 15 has one two, which is this third one on the left, and cell 16 has the first and second two on the bottom row. So it looks like that direction is working as well. Now at this point I know it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on because none of the fill objects are moving, but we'll be handling that in the next lesson. And if you want to test out the two other directions you can go ahead and do that, but I'm going to assume that they're working because we're mostly just copying and pasting the same function over and over. Hey awesome job with this tutorial, the last couple videos were pretty tough, so way to stick with it. Now if you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.